I hope you guys are doing well. We are back with the what sold video for um, the week. This is actually sales from Monday through Thursday. A little differently than normal. Usually you guys see me and um, we're doing the whole week. But at this point, uh, the videos are getting a little long. And um, some people that I've talked to that actually have other YouTube channels or some, some even some of my YouTube uh, subscribers have said that maybe breaking it up into a couple videos might be a little more palatable for some people who don't want to watch as long. So we're going to try that, see if it makes any better. Also, I'm going to add a little clip here of a little haul that I got um, add to the, on the end of this clip just to show you guys um, a little bit extra stuff that I found. I haven't been doing many haul videos, but I know some people have reached out and said they want to see some of the stuff I find. I know some people want to see um, some GoPro stuff, so I'm still working on that. I have a bunch of footage, but I have to like go in and um, find a way to edit out certain things that show one of my sources because he doesn't want to be in the footage so i gotta figure something out but i um, hope you guys do enjoy the content let me know if you guys like me splitting it up like this if you want me to add on little tidbits of little sourcing that i've done little hauls or whatever to show you guys as well or i might add some shipping on the end i thought that might be cool for some of the videos to see me pack some stuff up just to try to mix it up because some people want to see some other stuff but also not have so many sales in a row so it's not just too long for you to, to have to watch and obviously if i put new stuff at the end That'll give you guys who don't want to see that you can just watch the sales and then stop and then move on. So let me know what you guys think. Please let me know with some feedback, something like that, and we'll jump right into what's sold. Hey everyone, we are back with the sales update for Monday. Just four sales so far. We have a fifth one, but it hasn't been paid yet. Um, we got a couple hours left in the day, so we'll see if anything else comes through. Uh, mostly video game stuff. Fight Night Round 3 sold for 10 ship. This game always seems to sell for that much for me. Usually sells within a month or so of listing it, so nothing crazy. Smackdown vs. Raw, this is on the PSP, this is the 2007 version. It sold for 13 shipped, so a pretty good deal there. A lot of the Smackdown Raw wrestling games on the PlayStation 2, um, 360, stuff like that, look out for them. Some of them actually do okay, they're worth selling by themselves. Here's a GE Instajack, this is just the um, one, usually it comes in like a set of two or three. This uh, There's the model number there. This one was two bucks at a estate sale and it sold for 18 shipped. It'll pr still probably go first class, it's pretty light. And lastly, here is a um, Xbox 360, um, what is it called? A Guitar Hero guitar. It's got stickers all over it. This is the one you want to pick up though. It's the uh, Red Octane Explorer and it's the one that's wired. Um, this one sells for about 55 shipped. That's what this one went for. Um, it's got stickers and some scuffs on everything. We'll run the Magic Racer over it real quick. Just to see if any of that comes off. I did a brief wipe down initially, but we'll do it again just to see if we make it look a little bit better. And we'll get it sent out of here. Um, the only part about this one that's not so great, these ones don't have the breakaway necks like the um, other ones do. So, um, like the PS3 ones and the 360 ones that are not, that are wireless, you can usually take them apart. You can't take this one apart. So, shipping is a little bit more, but you get a higher dollar amount for these. So, again, 55 shipped on that. And then I'll show you guys what else sells today or possibly we'll jump into Tuesday sales. Hey everyone, we're back with the sales update for Tuesday. Pretty slow day, I had four sales today. We do have one more that sold after I picked all this stuff up, so I will show that next in the next clip. And there's still a couple hours left, so we'll see if anything else comes through. This is a Chilton's though, MG Repair Guide. It's an older one, hardcover. Um, this came in the big manual lot. Sold for 15 shipped, it just goes in a bubble mailer, so super easy. Here is like a chrome, I think bluish, uh, Xbox 360 wireless controller. It does work. Paid two bucks for that at a garage sale. It sold for like 30 shipped or something like that. Pretty good deal. Took a little while to sell. My price was a little bit high on that, I think, but finally sold. Tokyo Ghoul, one through four, I believe. Yep, volumes one through four. This came from Storage Unit Guy. Again, one of those things I just threw in a big pile. We paid, this is a recent one. We paid 300 for everything. I got a Wii, a Star Wars 360 system, a PS3, the fat console, a ton of games for the Wii U, Wii a Game Boy Color, um, a sealed Sony Walkman, just a bunch of stuff for 300 bucks. And this was in there, I just threw them in the pile and they sold right away for 22 shipped. And then this is like a um, old school 90s um, t-shirt here. I forgot the guy's name, you'll see on the screen. Um, there's a couple of holes in it, but I paid 50 cents for this shirt and it ended up selling, or a dollar for this shirt and it ended up selling for 20 on a best offer. The tag's missing, um, it had some holes, had a lot of wear. When I was at the sale, I could tell the tag was missing and it looked a little worn, but the more I looked it over, it was just worse and worse when I got home. Um, I still listed it though, because apparently these shirts do okay. 
and it took a best offer of 20 ships. So that's that for right now, and I'll show you guys what else sold. Hey everyone, back with the final two sales from uh, Tuesday. This is more of the rat poison stuff, whatever that sold for 95 shipped. And this little Star Wars guy is from the $1,600 buy. He sold for like $48 or $49 or somewhere around there. I took a best offer. I think I had him listed at $60. So just happy to get rid of him. Hey, Everyone, we are back with the sales for Wednesday. Three so far. There's one that just sold while I was about to hit the start button on the camera. So that'll be cool. I'll show you guys that next in the next clip. And hopefully a couple more hours left we can sell some more stuff. This week's been slower volume wise, but we've had some high dollar ones that are making it look nice in the total. So um, as long as we get a good amount of sales, whether it's a lot of them that equals a good amount of money or a few of them that equal a good amount, I'm okay. Um, you just gotta be thankful for what you have. And um, like I said, it's a good opportunity and reselling to be able to do this. So we are thankful. Um, right here we have a whole basket full of Thomas the Trains. These are my sons, my oldest son. Um, Noah, you probably have heard me mention him. He is now eight about to be nine here in a week or so um and these were all his old trains most of them were acquired at garage sales um probably paid a quarter 50 cents each he would go garage home with me when he was little and we would just pick up trains so there are duplicate ones there's wooden ones there's die cast there's the plastic track master ones these are mostly lower value ones or ones that have damage i parted out all the ones that were like doing okay on their own where you could get like 8 to 15 20 bucks and I sold those separately. I listed all these together for 199.99 or best offer. I've sent offers out for 150, I think 125 recently. No one accepted and then today someone paid 199 for all these. It's a pretty big basket. I mean, you can kind of see it's pretty full of um, trains and stuff. It's pretty heavy. But um, I'm happy with that. They were just lying around in the garage and I finally got them listed. So happy to get rid of all those. It'll probably end up going FedEx just based on the weight. Um, but either way, we'll make good money on that. I don't really have much invested at this point because when we initially bought them, they were for him. Um, this is a Star Wars Battle Pack. This is from the $1,000 um, big toy. It's actually $1,600 if you add the video game stuff and everything else in there. But... $1,600 worth we spent on toys and video games from Storage Unit Guy. This thing sold for a best offer of $70. It is brand new. It's got a little crease in the seal there. This is from 2012, so it's still pretty new, um, relatively speaking. But this kind of Star Wars stuff does way better than um, like the 90s Star Wars stuff. So got $70 shipped on that, and it's light enough that once we get into the box, it still should go first class. And then this is the Lego... 7738 Lego City. It's like a helicopter here. Um, it was on sale for 30% off at one time somewhere, but um, this sold. This is also from the same buy. Um, I don't know why I listed the box with it. The box is just so darn big, and the, the Legos don't even fill the whole box, but um, this one sold for like 90 shipped. Um, I think it's going global shipping program, so all the dimensions are in there. It's going to go bubble wrap and then in a little bit bigger box it'll squeeze into i think it will also go fedex but it's so light that it's not going to cost a whole lot even if it costs 15 bucks 16 bucks to ship it maybe 18 bucks whatever it ends up being it's still going to be worth it we've already we're about in the profits now and all that stuff and we have so much more stuff to sell um, which is good we made all of our money back and now we can move on um with that said i'll jump into the next clip with whatever that at least that one thing that sold and possibly other stuff Hey everyone, we are back with the What's Sold update for Thursday. Pretty good day. Um, still got a couple hours left too, so we'll see if anything else sells. Starting off, this is the Bay Blade Shogun Steel, a little carrying case here. It opens up into an arena. We're not going to open up, but um, it was a dollar at a garage sale, and it sold for 30 ships. So had a lot of watchers on it too. I was going to send an offer out to watchers for 25 It's over a pound, but it's barely over a pound. It's pretty light. Probably going to cost me 8 to 10 to ship it, but for a buck into 30, I'm okay with that. Um, I'll just put some bubble wrap on it and we'll put it in a box and get it sent out. Here's a, the only clothing item. Um, this is a Roar shirt. Um, this sold for 21 shipped on a best offer. Uh, it's kind of got like the embroidery or whatever it is. These shirts, for whatever reason, still do pretty well for me. This is like the lowest I've accepted an offer for on one in a while. Usually I'm getting 25 plus. I'm usually paying 4 or 5 bucks, so 21 shipped. I'm okay with that. Happy to get it out of here. Here is some Mardi Gras. I'll be able to see that. Washington Forge Mardi Gras. Um, this is called like the pink or I think mauve color. I paid a buck for this at an estate sale. Nine pieces of this sold for 17 shipped. Um, it might go at a pound at the priority 
yeah, might go priority padded flat rate because it's over a pound. I'm not sure, probably at this point. But um, if you get a bunch of this particular one, there's also different colors. A whole set of them, you can make some money. Um, used to do even better, but it's kind of slowed down. Here is a Nintendo GameCube a little um, cable here. Um, this sold for like 19 shipped. I had two of these just lying around in a bunch of cords I had, so that was pretty cool. Um, there's the Wii U game, Super Mario World, or Super Mario 3D World for Wii U, sold for 16 shipped. I think I paid like 4 bucks for that at um, a Goodwill, and then it ended up selling for 16 which isn't too bad. We'll make a little bit of money there. Here's some Laser Karaoke's by Pioneer. There's like 14 of them or something like that here. Um, these, I bought a karaoke player with a bunch of these, with a bunch of laser discs, um, and it ended up selling for the karaoke or the laser disc thing sold for like 160 or 180. I paid 50, so it was a good deal there. And then these sold for 50 shipped. They've been up for a while though, so it took a while to sell, but happy to get rid of them. A set of children's reference, little like science books. There's Planet Earth, the Animal World, things like that. Um, I don't remember where I got these. I think I paid... I think they were from the library, if I'm not mistaken. I may have paid a couple bucks for them. They ended up selling for like 18 ships. So not a whole lot, but they will go medium mail. Here's a Halo figure from the $1,600 buy. It's supposed to have a bunch of packaging in here. And then this little guy opens up and it has a Elite in there and some figures and all kinds of stuff. But um, it was used, but all the pieces were present. This sold for like, I think 20 shipped or 28... It's actually like 20-something shipped. It might even be 28 shipped. I'm not sure. But it's a really good sale. And then lastly, here is another Guitar Hero um, 360 wired controller. This one actually has a gray connector on there instead of the black one. But I listed that in the description. It sold for 55 shipped. I just sold one either earlier this week or last week. I sold one, the same one, uh, for 55 shipped. So these always sell if you can get the wired ones. And then we'll jump into what else sold. Oh, and before this, you probably were waiting for a clip from Wednesday's sales. That other sale I had, the person canceled the order before I packed it up. So that's why there's no sale there. And we'll jump into what sells this weekend, unless something sells in the meantime. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Back with the final sale from um, Thursday. Lego set 4191. Kind of see it there, this Lego Pirates. I think it's almost complete. Came out of the $1,600 buy. Um, sold it um, in this condition for 16 shipped gonna go first class it's super light so we'll get this one packed up hey everyone we are back with um this is actually a little haul video and a little tip for you guys we're gonna throw this on the end of the what sold video just so you guys could see some of this let me know if you guys want to see more of the haul type stuff or breakdowns i know people want to see the gopro footage and i'm trying to figure something out so that way you guys can see that um, but sometimes I have hauls that don't have footage for. I don't know if you guys like seeing that. If so, put a comment down below saying you want to add it on. I think what I'm going to do is a shorter what sold video. Maybe break it up into a couple videos instead. And then if I have anything else, I can add it on the back end of that if the video is not too long. So just let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, but we'll show you this at least. This is a big jersey haul. Um, at a at thrift store, every jersey was $24, which is pretty much too much for most jerseys for me. Unless it's something really rare and unique. Um, I asked the guy, because there were six jerseys, two Knicks ones, and four um, Sacramento Kings basketball jerseys. I asked the guy, um, that's my cat, um, who uh, worked there. I said, hey, when do these tags, they were black tags. I'm like, do they ever go on sale, or is there any kind of discount for them? And he said, no, they never go on sale. And I'm like, I just kind of act really bummed. I was like, man, you know, if they were half off, I'd buy all six of these jerseys from you. Um, which is still a lot to pay for a jersey, but you'll see on the end why. I talked to the guy. He's like, there's nothing I can do. I can't I can't lower the price in the system. I don't have that kind of authority. So I was like, bummer. Well, I'm like, well, maybe I'll you know keep checking back, and if they don't sell, the price will go down. I started to walk away, and the guy goes, hey, I'll tell you what I can do. So automatically, I'm like pumped. And I turn around, and he goes, how about you buy three at full price, 24 bucks, and I'll give you three free. Because he goes, I can't alter the price in the system, but I can give you um, that discount, just I'll ring up three of them up at full price and I'll let you have the other three. So I asked him, are you sure you're allowed to do that? He goes, yeah, it's fine. I just, um, I think it's too high priced anyway. So I said, okay. So he rung me up and I got uh, six jerseys. Now I have five here because one is already sold. It's sold within 12 hours and two of these are about to go out right now. So this is a Nike Latrell Spreewell. Um, jersey size large, number eight Spreewell for the Knicks. Um, this jersey is used, but I mean, it's in really great shape. Again, every jersey ended up being about 13 with tax. So this one sold for 
um, 50 shipped. And the same person bought this New York Knicks, I think it's Allen Houston if I'm not mistaken, size 52. This one comes with the tags. Um, he offered me 60 on this and I ended up taking it to get rid of it because um, he was buying the other jersey. So that's $110 shipped right there. We ended up paying about 80 for everything. And the last three that you're going to see here, this is a King's uh, Weber jersey, double XL. Whoops, I opened up two of them. You can see there, Weber. Um, jerseys you want to look out for are usually champion ones. Usually it's a good sign they're older. Um, certain players, for champion ones do really well. Not everyone, but if you can get like Michael Jordan, Shaq, Allen Iverson in particular, um, those ones do well. So this one should go for probably 40 bucks or so. This one's pretty good. It's a Jason Williams Kings, 55, also champion, smaller size, 44. Um, right there, number 55. I think this one will go for like 60 plus. And then lastly is a Mike Bibby. This one's probably the least valuable one, even though he's a cool player. Um, it's a little bit of a mark. Oh, no, that's not a mark. It's like a piece of dust or something. Um, I thought it was a mark. But um, this one is a size large, but it's not as great of a jersey. It's a Bay Reebok. This one will probably go for like 30, 35 bucks. But um, still, it's a lot of money to pay. But the jerseys that are already sold already sold for $68 shipped. It was a Pages Stjokovic Kings jersey used, and it had some marks on the front. Probably could have got 100 bucks for it. But... Um, it had a lot of had some stains and stuff, but still went for sixty eight in one day. So we're not selling a TV. We're in the process of moving, so I have this here because I have to put the TV in it. So you can see I've been working with a lot of clothing and stuff, a lot of military stuff over there. Um, but yeah, if you guys see if you guys see a deal like this at a store, don't be afraid to go ahead and ask. Hey, um, take a look at everything we got going here while we're I'm talking. Hey, is there any way I can get a better deal on these because I'm buying in bulk? If it's just one item. They might not budge, but if it's multiple items, you know, you might be able to ask and say, hey, um, if I buy all six of these or all five of these, can you give me a better price? It never hurts to ask, and that also sometimes can open the door for a relationship with you in the store, maybe a manager or assistant manager or someone who might work with you in the future, or if, if you can ask them, hey, if you find more of these, you know, here's my number, call me, or if I come, can you give me a good deal? And sometimes they'll work with you, and you can kind of build a relationship like that. So look out for those. When it's all said and done, I don't know what the tolls are going to be. We're already at a hundred and what 78 bucks and we paid 80 roughly but with tax i think um and we still have three more to go so i think when it's all said and done we're going to be at at least 300 um which 300 for an 80 dollar purchase is pretty good in my book i know for some of you that's not where you're going to be number wise but i'll say this for me growing my business a lot of people have wondered how i've gotten higher sales and how i'm doing so well it's when i started investing more money into more product and sometimes that meant paying more per item but getting some better quality goods and also just buying in bulk period so when you buy things in bulk um, a lot of times you have to pay, somebody you have to pay up for them depending on who you're buying from or whatever and um, spend put, outlay more money but it'll be worth more money in the long run to do so it's hard to really build a huge business on ebay if you're only garage selling for one dollar and two dollar items you kind of sometimes be willing to take a little financial gamble there step out a little bit buy some more expensive stuff some higher end product Granted, if there's a loss on it, that hurts more, but sometimes the win that you can get out of it is really what helps kind of prepare.